bit of a word of advice for you, yeah? This is the last you want to see opposite your fight night. Bouncing though, moving his head like that, you're thinking, wow, where's he going? The last. Hands nice and sharp at the stage. Two weeks out. Look at the shape on the man though. Come on, let's have it right. World champ status now. We're all coming from over to get in. Nowhere, lad. Dangerous, elusive, fast, sharp. Just moving on the outside. Defensively sound. Offensively devastating. Come on. Just finishing up another hard training session at Tiger Muay Thai in preparation for my April 1st main event against Marlon Moraes in uh, Las Vegas. As you can see, another really, really hard session. Um, flying on Monday, camp's gone great, smooth, ready to get to uh, Las Vegas and defend my belt. Today is sparring day. Final spar before I fly out to Las Vegas on Monday. Well, we'll enjoy. First 48 hours after winning the title were uh, very incredible, really. Form was going absolutely berserk. Everyone was uh, congratulating me. It was one of the moments where everyone was kind of waiting for on Instagram, you know, to wake up on uh, Sunday morning like, did he win? Did he win? You know what I mean? But yeah, I was glad to get it done. I was glad to finally put that Instagram post up, put it that way. I think the most challenging thing about the PFL is fighting every so often, every every seven, eight weeks. is It's very hard on the mind, body, spirit, cutting all that weight, training hard, injuries throughout the season. Um, it's definitely the hardest competition in combat sports. And you know, to win that, you have to be a special type of human. So I'm happy to have it on my mantle piece. In terms of what next for me, who knows? Fight by fight now. Legend like Marlon Moraes, really happy to be fighting him. That's one to put on the resume for sure. Marlon, I've always looked up to him in the sport since I was young, so it's going to be great to finally compete against him. Responding to adversity was uh, was probably the hardest thing. I mean, imagine I worked my whole life to get in the UFC. That was the goal in the beginning and then got told no. I had to kind of redirect my career when there was nowhere to really go. And I kind of joined the PFL when nobody else was there. First ever English fighter to join it. I mean, it's a bit mad and how do I question my effort because 
you need incredible amounts of effort to become a champion and to fight as often as I do. So, one thing that is never, ever, ever in question is the effort. Word of advice, best advice I was ever given was off Bugsy Malone, and it was about six years ago. And he said to me, Brendan, you get that good at your craft that people have to pay your fortune to see it. And uh, that's what I did. I took that advice on board, worked on my crafts very hard. And uh, the advice paid off and then I seen him not long ago and I was like, no, you was right, he said, I told you. Get that good at it, people have to pay you a fortune to see it. Brilliant advice. This is what real training looks like. Doghouse, Cliff Brown, dying. Look at us, fresh off the plane, Panicus flying in to help me, what a guy. What a guy. That's how we do it in Manchester, look. We help each other out, mate. Me and this man must have done 400 rounds before. Literally, bro. Give uh, a massive shout out to Montreux. We've been together for years now. It's been a great relationship, great guys. Legends of the sport. I really want to thank them for getting behind me in the beginning when not many people were believing in me. You know, I was there when they were a very, very small little brand in a little warehouse. It wasn't even a warehouse, it was a room. For them to grow to where they are now and for myself to grow, and they've got me and Rocky Edwards, the two champions of Britain, and the brand is flying every time I go home. Manchester and Liverpool, all you see is Montreux. So we grew together, proud of you guys, proud to be an ambassador for the company, let's go. Nine days to be exact. Fly to Las Vegas Monday, Viva Las Vegas. Um, been a great training camp. I kept Thailand's like a second home. Absolutely love it here. Um, I did seven months here last year and I've been doing most of the year here. I like to go from the fight back to here. Um, I just think the environment's great for fighters. Really, as you've got everything on your doorstep, and I love being here. I'd say that my life did change after winning a title, but it didn't really. You know, I'm still here, I'm still training hard in Tiger. Obviously, my bank balance is very different now, but apart from that, we're still here, we're still grinding, and we're still trying to achieve greatness. Getting my face on uh, 
Tiger Muay Thai was probably one of the, it was just as good as winning the belt for me. Imagine I've been coming here for 11 years now and then the owner just whipped it up on the front and uh, me and him took a nice picture with the belt. It's good though because I came here as a kid, you know, with uh, dreams and aspirations mm. and to come back and join the Wall of Fame with Peter Jan, Raphael, Anatoly, uh, the dream team as they call it. One by one, coach. You frame the spear fell now, they go. Random boxing coach, one by one. Number one, number one, let's go champ, it's your time. Oh. <laughs> Wanna be the champion mate, these are the sacrifices. Last one in here, first one in. Manny in the building lad, you know what I'm talking about? Let's go Marlon, let's go Marlon. Big cross. I think this will be very good. Make sure you record that bit. Here's what's going to happen in the fight, yeah? Jab. Big jab. Put your money down. Make some bark. Look at this, come with me. Every day, man. Look at the view. From one extreme to another. Oh my God, you've got no idea how that feels. The best feeling in the world, mate. That's it now, wrapping up the camp for Marlon Marais, another great camp here in Thailand. Feeling on top of the world. Excited to get to Las Vegas now and show everybody my skills. This is a fight where everybody's like, oh, this is the guy, but is he the guy? We'll see. We'll see. I'm about to show the world how great I am and why I'm the champion. Marlon's come over to the PFL. And, uh, my job to welcome him over as a champion. You know what I mean?